Hey y'all, Corey here from GrowEnsemble.com. Uh, excited to have you here for the first official Grow Ensemble community update, uh, inspired by friends at a good company, uh, Anders Anchorlid. Uh, he's been creating progress updates, uh, monthly videos for some time now, and I've been watching those ever since he was uh, gener- generous enough to, to join us for a podcast recording. Um, but the, the object of these videos really is to, to give you, or the videos and updates, give you a more in-depth look as to how uh, we're, we're attempting to grow and evolve this community around Grow Ensemble as we uh, uh, pursue our, our mission of bringing more people into the community of more sustainable living, work, and business, and as well highlighting and sharing the incredible work of, of companies, organizations, and, and individuals uh, who are, are really uh, um, shining in this space and, and worthy of, of uh, some some promotion. But to do so, you know, in this video, I'll, I'll provide a, a few different highlights as to what happened in August. You know, maybe it's a little bit late to release this in September already, uh, but we're just getting this system up and running. But uh, share with you some highlights from August at the highest level. If you want to get the nitty-gritty detail, feel free to, to read the the uh, post that I produced uh, here. You know, I'll probably write a, a full uh, letter to go along with this every single month, and as we'll we'll as well talk about what's up in September. All right, let's dive in. All right, so here at Grow Ensemble uh, in August, uh, most notably, we we saw uh, some really significant community growth around our our community, uh, um, our our social good community here. You know, again, just to remind our our primary goals are to uh, first learn and apply everything we can as it relates to leaving the world a, a better place than we found it, a more just, equitable, and habitable place. Uh, um, then we found it. And to second, uh, share everything that we learned to bring more people into this community of, of more sustainable living and work. And to do so, you know, we attract and engage this, this international, this global community uh, by using content with the blogs that we create, podcasts we publish and produce, and now as we're, we're dabbling in video. So a quick you know, overview of, of how things are performing. Again, we go through some very specific detail uh, with the attached post and I think as well the, the podcast episode but things are up growth is up which is significant uh, we've seen almost uh, 30,000 page views in a single month this is you know continuing to break a single month highs uh, uh, since last November so you know every single month uh, uh, versus the previous we we are growing um, which is is wonderful um, we've done a lot of uh, uh, more organization around the content that we create. So, you know, what can sometimes happen with a a site that creates so much content continuously um, is that uh, uh, it can get, you know, older posts and and podcasts or whatever get buried in this deep archive that both users and Google can't access. So we've gone through the process of creating some content hubs here. You know, you can see now on the homepage, or really from any page on the site, you know, we have our sustainable business, our better world business content, buy ensemble content, read ensemble, better world content, all accessible, you know, within a click. And so, you know, arriving at each of those pages, it puts a lot of our older podcast episodes, older but still relevant, very valuable podcast episodes and posts accessible within, you know, just a, a click or two. So that's great. You know, and as a product of that, we've seen uh, more users return to the site, engage with the site. And uh, as well, Google has, has given us something of a friendly response as well. And, you know, interestingly, this, this growth has come in August without us producing any new blog content. And, you know, more on the reason for that here in the future. But this is a bit of the potency of, of this style, kind of the library style content that we produce as opposed to more traditional media where there's something of a spike, you know, from first publication and a fall and taper off uh, um, over time. We want to create things that people are accessing more and more, um, you know, are still relevant, still have longevity to them, you know, months from now, a year from now, three years from now, five years from now. Similarly, you know, we've seen some some really significant gr- growth with the podcast, topped 3,000 downloads uh, over this last month. And uh, while, you know, there's a few different things that we tweaked and adjusted, you know, I, uh, we talk about that in greater depth uh, in the post 
you know, um, looking at, you know, making the podcast easier to discover for our whole ecosystem that's around Grow Ensemble already. Kind of similar, you know, thread of, of uh, the content organization. But that's uh, um, really wonderful to see. And then the Better World Weekly Newsletter as well has grown uh, uh, 23% in August. Um, and you know, that's, that's again, intentional, you know, we're, we're really wanting to create as many opportunities and reasons for people to sign up for the better world weekly newsletter. This newsletter that I spend a lot of time on every single week. I love putting it together. You know, we call it our our discussion, uh, uh, in building a better world with our community of change makers, um, goes out every single Monday, but you know, if you haven't yet (laughs) sign up for that growensemble.com backslash newsletter but we you know have have been very intentional about uh giving a lot of good reason and as well creating a lot of opportunities for for people uh to discover that and and become uh, a part of that that newsletter there and of course with more traffic you know we from the podcast and the blog we just see that that grow and then we launched our youtube channel so this is uh pretty new and we're, we're a bit green to the space of video production and as well uh growing a, a youtube channel but um, lots of learning to come there. We're very excited. Another way to get connected, you know, another medium to get connected with this community of social impacts in sustainable business. Um, really cool title cards that you can see there uh, with uh, our full length video podcast episodes. Those are those are up there now, as well as the kind of short sneak peek clips that usually come with those. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, stay tuned with the different video content that we'll create outside of just podcast uh, uh, stuff. But Make sure you subscribe and, and check that out. We'll have more to come on what we're doing there uh, to ideally build you know more of an ecosystem uh, around YouTube too. Uh, another very exciting new item that, that came out here in uh, uh, August was the launch of our Better World Business Growth Workshops. So we hosted our first ever live workshop that covered the topic of, of search engine optimization or SEO for social enterprises and nonprofits, you know, uh, breaking down, distilling a bit as to the different tactics and strategies that we've implemented, you know, to see something of this this growth tra- trajectory on our traffic. You know, a lot of the content we create is informed by our understanding of of SEO and our expertise in SEO. And so, we had 32 signups here for the the workshop, which was uh, great to to watch that live or via the replay. And these will, you know, first be available for free always. And anyone interested can attend the live workshop or then access the replay for, I think, 42 or 48, 72 hours afterwards, um, or maybe four days total after that. Anyways, um, at that works. You know, we, we start to archive those and store those in our training library at betterworldbusinessgrowth.com, where those can be accessed as well with bonuses uh, for a small one-time purchase, you know, to, to watch on demand, you know, and, and have lifetime access, essentially. Uh, or businesses and organizations can get access to all the workshops uh, as a part of their membership to the Better World Business Growth Community. So you can look out for that too. We have we have more coming there. And then very exciting, we, we've launched the concept of our Grow Ensemble Cause Campaigns. So this is a big reason as to why we've taken a pause on the content we've created from the blog in August to kind of reassess how we can make this effort uh, um, an effort that we really enjoy and are committed to, to get better and better at and that we think, you know, we do have some um, skills in already uh, to become even more impactful. So the, the uh, you know, traffic growth, page views, podcast listens and all that kind of stuff, it's great to see that increase, but to us, it's only as significant as we feel it's actually leading to, to true, tangible, positive change in the world. You know, and that change being that, that more actions are being taken, big or small, towards living and working you know, more consciously and, and sustainably. So we covered a really wide breadth of content over the last 10, 10 months since we've launched the blog and, you know, and then previous uh, to that since we launched the podcast. Uh, but we're wanting to uh, drive more focus into what we create, ideally to uh, uh, recreate this, this experience of an individual becoming perhaps problem aware uh, um, aware to a particular problem and its greater implications, the effect on it, on their community, the world at large, and leading them to, you know, not just from understanding the problem and the doom and gloom that can come sometimes come with that, that feeling, uh, to directing them to ideally uh, becoming solution aware, you know, and, 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 and engaged and inspired and, and connected with the community so that they feel, you know, both uh, uh, energized 
uh, and informed with both the resources, the information, and the potential suggested next actions that they could take to get involved. You know, be that with companies or organizations, um, you know, or, or uh, actions they can take. And so we're, we're speaking uh, with different businesses and nonprofits right now who might be interested in, in partnering with us on a campaign. Uh, we've already uh, uh, locked down uh, a scheduled campaign with, with one partner thus far, a previous podcast guest. Uh, more on that to come, but we're very excited uh, to work with them. And, you know, if this sounds like you, if you have a particular cause that, that's really core to your business or organization and you want to work with us on, on creating a campaign here, uh, to ideally you know, provide information and as well inspire and engage people to take action uh, uh, to affecting uh, um, the, the impact you want to see, uh, reach out to us, growensemble.com backslash contact or send me an email, uh, corey at growensemble.com. And so that at a highest level is what happened in August. If you want the nitty gritty, definitely look into the posts. But up in September, uh, a few things for us to focus on uh, and we'll report back on to you with the, the calendar for our 2020 cost campaigns. So we're hoping that this takes some significant shape as we're having a lot of conversations this month to start to set that and, and lock those down. Um, Annie and I are potentially securing a Grow Ensemble HQ in San Antonio, Texas. So creating some sort of kind of flex uh, um, office space podcast studio out of a, a, a guest um, uh, living space uh, uh, on a property that we found and uh, as well, a community space once the, the world allows us to, to have more events. But stay tuned on that. Uh, that. That will be a good project for us. The next Better World Business Growth Workshop, we're going to be talking about blogging and creating engaging content. Uh, Annie should be hosting that one, which will be uh, wonderful. She's been the managing editor of our, our blog, our client's content uh, uh, for the last year. And then our first workshop on SEO will be up in the library. Along those lines, we're going to be uh, relaunching the, the Better World Business Growth Community for social impact professionals, purpose-driven business leaders, social enterprise founders, uh, and, and nonprofit uh, leaders as well. So look for that at betterworldbusinessgrowth.com backslash community. We're going to work uh, quite a bit on our, our B Corporation certification. Uh, we're allocating some focus time uh, to tackle that month, uh, that this month, um, or, you know, a good portion of it. It's it's certainly more than a month long project, but we're striving to to achieve the necessary score of uh, eighty for our B impact score uh, by the the end of the year. And then, of course, a lot of great po podcasts to publish. You know, the wonderful guests who who are willing to sit down uh, uh, with me for a recording always, you know, is so humbling and inspiring. Uh, these people themselves are, are so generous. You know, so committed uh, uh, to the work that they do and and. Uh, serving the community uh, uh, so much uh, 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 with with so much veracity and and um, uh, and, and engagement. So a lot of really really good episodes coming uh, up live. So look out for those, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to yours. And lastly, uh, one last reminder uh, uh, as well to sign up for the Better World Weekly Newsletter. You know, again, I put a lot of time into that, and it's it's a great discussion that we have with our community every single week. Uh, hits folks' inboxes uh, on Monday. But all right, y'all, uh, I appreciate you, you tuning in for this first Grow Ensemble community update. You know, let me know what you might be interested in hearing about in, in future updates. Um, you know, if you you liked it or, or or not, you know, we're always open to reception and feedback. But uh, the hopes here are to, to provide a you know more in-depth look as to, to what's going on with Grow Ensemble um, in, in that, you know, perhaps what we're learning on our experience here of, of uh, building and growing and evolving this community that, that you can take something away from that uh, and get connected um, or apply it, you know, to, to work on your own business or organization yourself. All right, y'all. 